now here comes a flashback. Watch, boom. Welcome back, laggers, to another episode of The Town of Life. Life, life, life. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a fantastic day. Just getting more and more closer to... Ooh. Oh yeah, we left on chapter 8. Chapter 8. But yeah, just getting more more excited because the countdown to my son being here is coming up. <coughs> so, it's getting nerve-wracking. Because it's... He's almost here. Crazy. So crazy. Oh, we're loading now. It's blinking. It's blinking. So, last episode, we went into the showers and we got separated. So now we have to go to the semi agitated ward. Semi agitated. I know that the videos are actually a little, um, how you say, short, but they're interesting. I want to kind of play each chapter as a video just so I have stuff to keep you guys interested and posted. While I'm nurturing my little guy. I think we should go. We're at the end of the hall, right? Yeah, we're at the end of the hall. Run! Run, Renee, run! And imagine what Renee would look like if you actually looked at her. Oof. I bet you she looks haggard. That was weird. Man, this game just pops random sounds. Semi-agitated ward. I think we have to go upstairs. Yeah, we have to go upstairs. Yep, we're going upstairs. Let's see what happens there. Because we already went downstairs. And we'll see if there's a semi-agitated ward up here. Yes, six. Where is six? Oh, we can go over there now. Oh, and it opened. Oh, man, I hate when that happens. When there was too much uh, chaos, they closed all the windows in the door. They switched off the lights and it was pitch black. Some people fell asleep. Some others stopped seeing their demons and things became more peaceful. Flashback. Watch. Boom. Look at that. Face. It's a face only a mother could love. Give me stuff to click on. Supposed to be over there because the music playing. Let's check out these doors. Okay, so we do have to be down here. <coughs>
do have to be in here. turning off the power when you're scared and it's light. Okay, time to cut off power. <coughs> Let's see if that does anything. Check it out. Let's look for Renee's room in the semi-agitated ward.
barking's not helping. The barking's not helping there. Okay, guys, we're gonna BRBs and try to figure out why this thing is not working. So. on you. They gave you a cold shower. They suffocated you with a sheet. They tied you to the bed. They tied me to the bed. A woman died next to me, suffocated by her own vomit. She was tied down because she wouldn't stop masturbating. I remember her death rattle. I screamed, but nobody came. Everybody screamed in there. The whole lot of them. It was then that I saw that doll, which wasn't Charlotte. No, she wasn't Charlotte. The past was like the present. That doll, that man, the shame. Renee was increasingly divorced from reality. How will I ever be able to find out what really happened? How will I ever be able to find Amara again if I can't even find myself? We're gonna help you. We're gonna help you, Renee. Oh, and I'm locked in the room? What? How am I supposed to get out of the room? No hints. So are we trying to find yourself right now? Oh, paper. Monte Foscoli, 12th November, 1939. Dear daughter, it is with great sadness that I have heard what has happened. Your transfer and your sufferings are a cause of great worry for me. It will take time, but you'll see. Things will improve. They'll treat you and you'll get better again. I pray a lot. Every day. Write to me often and tell me if you need anything. I'll do what I can. Try to be strong. Mom. This is the last letter she wrote me. Once I was put into this ward, loneliness arrived. After that medical examination, I received no more letters from Mom. Why is that man here? Why doesn't she come? Did I make a mistake? It didn't look like she wanted to abandon me. What did I do wrong? I should like to be able to reply to her again now to change things. Hmm. Let's see. They hurt me really bad. I'm so alone nobody knows about me. It's as if I don't exist. Let's see. Please, I beg you, get me out of this place. It frightens me so. Hurt me real bad. Mm, I don't know what we should pick. Mm. I don't want to be a beggar. You're taking everything from me. You, my friend, helped me do something. You were right. I know I was wrong. I realize it. I'm so ashamed. If only you knew how much. I can't keep on living like this without my any reason. Don't even cry anymore. I have a fear which I can't. I'm a friend. Help me do something. If 
So we're trying to get out. And we'll go to two. But now I'll behave well. Sure, now things will be fine. Uh, see, I messed up. Oh, well. Yes, for sure. Perhaps she would have listened to me. Will she reply? Oh, I have paper. Mum, take my papel. Oh, door's open. Where am I supposed to take this paper now? To the mailbox? The letters were sent to the archive. It was their job to send them. Okay, so we're going to the archive. To the archive. <clears throat> yeah, we'll go explore those rooms after we figure out where the archive is. Because they have one job. Where is the archive? Okay, maybe we have to go downstairs. Ten doesn't have anything. I feel like we should go. Oh, twelve. So we have to go to twelve. Where's twelve? Twelve's at the end of the hall. To the loo. Yeah, mom, I'm coming. I'm coming, mom. I want to give you this special favorite letter I wrote you. It makes no sense, but I want to give it to you. <laughs> when you were sent to a lunatic asylum, you lost the right to possess anything. Everything you arrived with was packed up and stored here, even the clothes you were wearing, in case you were released one day. Too many, however, never left. Okay, so we have to find the mailbox. <clears throat> There must be a file with my name in the filing cabinet, somewhere here. Maybe. So we have to find Renee. There it is. What's this? Dear Mother, please, I beg you, get me out of this place. It frightens me so much. You were right. I know I was wrong. I realize I'm so ashamed. If you only knew how much. But now I'll behave well. Sure, now things will be fine. I'll work hard. I'll be very good. Your daughter, Renee. Not fulfilled. <laughs> this letter. It was Renee's letter. Just like when it was written. But it was never sent. Why? Why did a thing like that happen? I've received your letter, Mum. You tell me to be patient and strong while I only have fear and pain, and you no longer write to me. If only these lines could be my soul and tell you what's happening to me. The kids want to kill me. What? They all look the other way, and they tell me what I must do. I don't understand. She helps me, but what have they done to her? Can you tell me? Will you help me? Renee. Not fulfilled. <laughs> That's so bad. Not delivered. Montefascoli, 7th July, 1940. My dear daughter, I have received no news from you. You haven't even dropped me a line for months. Unfortunately, I can't afford to come and visit you. I've no money for the fare. Do you remember Mr. Onofrio? He'll soon be coming to Volterra on business. I've asked him if would be kind enough to ask the director to have news about you. I hope when he comes back, he'll be able to give me good news. But write to me. I know that I was strict with you. You have to excuse me. I didn't realize. I've given Mr. Onofrio a new doll for you. Oh, you told me that you lost yours, and I know you loved it so much. It's not as nice as your Charlotte, but I hope that it will comfort you nonetheless. 
Keep your chin up, daughter. Things will be fine. You'll see. Mom. <laughs> Not delivered. Oh, that's Montefoscoli, 12th October, 1940. Dear daughter, I've written two letters to you and have received no reply. I await a letter anxiously every day. Mr. Onofrio has come back. He brought you the doll. Do you like it? He told me he didn't manage to speak to the director, but he did see you. I pray for you every day. Don Gino said a prayer for you during Sunday Mass. That was lovely, wasn't it? I've made up my mind, Renee. I'm going to bring you home. I've already written to the director. I told him that I'll take care of you. At the moment, I'm not well and can't work, but I'll soon get better. You'll see as soon as I'm up to making the journey, I'll come and get you. I know you're suffering a lot, but bear up, I beg you. Mum will come and pick up Renee, won't she? Yes. Mum is good, mm -hmm. but she's not well. That's why that man came. The doll. Renee could have played with it, waiting for her to arrive. But Renee never had it with her. Is it one of Mum's lies? She knew that she had hurt Renee and... No, no, Mummy's good. That man brought it. We've just remembered him, haven't we? It was Renee who was wrong. The doll's there, that's sure. Perhaps she's been kidnapped like everyone else, locked up somewhere in here. Wait, so we're supposed to free people? Let's look for the second doll. It'll be among bundles of the patient's things. Okay, we will find said doll. Let us go find the doll. Bundles of things. So we have to search. Oh! We're on the right track. Handy dandy flashlight. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, let's see what this artwork is. Oh, it's just that snake thing. Let's go in this closed door. Skulls. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Alright, so nothing in here. Find it in here. Where's that other doll? Here, dolly, 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 dolly. Ooh. This looks interesting. Look so creepy in here. Note to self, never go crazy. Maybe that's it. Ooh. Is that is that it? I found it. Now we can open the bundle on that table in front of the window. Open the bundle. Shoes closed. Dolly! See, Mom was good. I was bad. Mom was worried about Renee and Charlotte. I abandoned Charlotte. We've abandoned her. No, we put her in the lights, dummy. Alright, guys. Well, we're going to call that an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it as I tried to navigate through this and figure everything out. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. 
and share it if you if you feel fit and don't forget to subscribe if you if you want to as well for more videos and updates and more arc videos and probably more uh what is it rocket league i'm gonna start playing that game too that game seems fun i just got my new controller with my birthday monies so we're gonna start playing that so yeah guys just want to thank you guys for tuning in watching and we'll catch you on the next episode of the town of light